If you aren't the type to rise at the crack of dawn and wolf down a hearty breakfast, chances are you eat a bowl of cereal or a granola bar on the fly. One of the best ways to beat the early morning blahs, the goodness of cereal now comes in as many forms as our fast-paced lifestyles demand. The making of frosted cornflakes starts in this corn cooker. The corn kernels are corn cooked for over two hours. These delicious, juicy corn kernels are then ground up into government-approved edible food slurry. The kernels are ground up by a giant screw, as they're further screwed out of a fulfilling life by being vibrated down a metal chute. The next step of the process is a total mystery, because this is the best camera angle we could get of it. We guess that the corn kernels are smushed by these rollers, but we have no idea. We politely asked the factory to give us a better look, and they told us to fuck off. A roller of human hair adds natural flavor and pushes the kernels further down the assembly line. The cornflakes arrive ready to be packaged, but the factory needs to look busy. So they shake them down assembly lines and some ovens for a bit. The shaking never ends when it comes to cornflakes. Food scientists purport that this shaking adds to the nutritional value of the cereal. But these scientists were almost definitely paid off by Kellogg's, so it's probably best to ignore them. This drum spins the cornflakes as they are sprayed with cornflake juice. You can also buy cornflake juice at your local grocer. Be sure to ask one of the employees for it, and if they say they don't carry it, Continue to ask while getting louder and more visibly frustrated. Don't let them hide their cornflake juice from you. A large afro pick combs the cornflakes looking for anything valuable, but it never finds shit. Now, vitamins are sprayed onto the cornflakes. Most healthy adults require two to three vitamin sprays per day, while children usually only require one. To be extra cautious, these flakes have 54 vitamin sprays per serving. This cereal would be delicious if Peter could resist getting his grubby hands all over them. How has he not been fired yet? This packager fills the bags with cereal because the original distribution method of having grocery store workers transfer it to the customer by mouth was woefully inefficient. This plant also makes vomit. The ingredients for the vomit are given a slow, consistent mix. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the factory, cereal and granola bars are being made. The ancient technique of shoveling cereal has been passed down through these factory workers' bloodlines for generations. Legends say that if the cereal is ever improperly spooned, the batch will be tainted by a ghost. These warnings, however, are promptly ignored, because ghosts aren't real, you moron. Frozen mozzarella sticks push the ingredients along, since they have the right consistency and flavor additives to do the job. At the same time, the mix is compressed to the desired thickness. From what I've been told, your sister thinks I have the perfect level of thickness. Bar separators then simultaneously create bar shapes and the perfect racetrack for mice to use throughout the day. The bars are then cut to the proper length, because despite how fat or high you are, there's no way you can eat this whole thing. Cereal bars are one of the most popular foods among people with OCD. This device is installed to make all the bars perfectly even. Should this machine ever malfunction, suicide rates will skyrocket. The bars travel to a giant caramel steamroller, because nothing in America is allowed to be healthy. Then again, America is a country that owns a giant caramel steamroller, which makes it better than everywhere else by default. Did you think we were done? Remember, this is America, so of course an excessively thick coating of chocolate is added. Now finished, the bars are ready for packaging and, as you can see, are slightly uneven. Which means that I'd be careful reading the obituaries tomorrow. I hope no one you know happens to eat cereal bars to calm their OCD.